Hi, it's Courtney, and I have Ray here with me. Hi. Go ahead and click that subscribe button before we get started. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how I went goth. For that video, I needed to pull Ray in because he's the big reason why I became goth. It's all your fault. So picture it, Sicily. No, wait, San Francisco. Um, when Ray and I first got together, we, we actually met online in a video game, and um, it was a text-based MMO. And we hit it off, and we'd been friends for a couple years, so I moved out to San Francisco when we started dating to be with him. And that's kind of where I was um, inducted into the dark side. So Ray started me off easy. He started um, playing like his favorite music for me, and so I got into Sisters of Mercy and Bauhaus. I already listened to stuff like Depeche Mode and The Cure, um, you don't just be the Susie and the Banshees. He started making me go, or <laughs> making me, he started taking me clubbing. Um, I think he took me thrift shopping. I feel like he took me thrift shopping to, to like, kind of like help me build up a gothic wardrobe. And in San Francisco, I was definitely into more of like the romantic goth style or like maybe fancy goth is what you would call it. Or basically I liked being dressy and looking Victorian and wearing corsets, but we live in Florida and it is way too fucking hot to dress like that here. So I don't really have very much of that sort of um, gothic wardrobe left. I guess, uh, I, was the first place you took me to Roger's Chamber? Uh, probably. So the first place that I ever went clubbing, goth clubbing, would have probably been Roger's Chamber, which was in San Francisco. I don't know if it's still around or not, but at that time it was like the coolest club I'd ever been in because it was dark inside and there was like booming music. This was 1999, so like I think Dark Wave was really starting to come out. Like mm -hmm. I, I feel like that was becoming really popular. So that's like the era that I really got into goth was the Dark Wave era. Um, so when I think Dark Wave, I think of uh, bands like Collide or The Crew Shadows. VNV Nation. VNV Nation. Although they're more on the industrial side. But. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of the stuff we listen to is definitely more on the um, industrial side because we kind of have that, we favor that like heavy electronic or, tech, or, or um, percussive heavy music. He's also the whole reason that I started blogging because he took me to a Mac store and got me addicted to makeup. So it's all his fault that I'm on YouTube and blogging and doing any of that stuff. And taught you how to do eyeliner. You did. <laughs> When I first met Ray, he owned more skirts and more shoes and knew how to do makeup better than I did. So he actually taught me a lot about how to do, I would say, like the, the classic 80s goth makeup look. So white face, like smudgy black eyeshadow, black lipstick, black eyeliner, stuff like that. Oh, so I want to talk about Convergence because Convergence is a basically gothic convention. And you were like one of the first people to, I guess, do the Convergence thing. Well, I was on... Oh. Um, alt.goth on Usenet back in the early 90s and that's how I mostly got into clubbing and everything but that's where Convergence started like we were all talking we should have a meetup and originally they wanted to do it in Lawrence Kansas because it's the geographic center of the continental United States and it ended up being Chicago for the first one which was convenient for me because my parents lived in Chicago at the time yeah, so you got to go to Convergence 1. Did you go mm -hmm. to Convergence 2? I did not. But then you went to Convergence 3? Yes, Convergence 3 was in San Francisco, and my friends were the people who ran it. And that was Carl and Tiffany? Mm-hmm. So for Convergence 3, did you kind of, like, you told me, I think, at one point that you kind of helped organize it and pay for it. And... I didn't really help organize all that much, but I gave them some money to help cool. out with it. Did you go to any Convergences after 3? No. So really, we are due to go for a go to a convergence because I have never been to convergence. I wanted to go this past year when it was in um, Boston, but with all of the other travel that I was doing, because you know I went to Sweden with Eden Minerals, I just didn't feel like I had time for yet another trip. So maybe next year. Um, I also know that there are gothic cruises out there if that's something you're interested in. Our friend Steph, who lives in Chicago, <laughs> she likes to go on the goth cruise every single year. What else would be important about like how I got into goth? Like really, it was you introduced me to the music. I was like, hey, I love music, and then you're like, well, this is how I like to dress, and this is how you dress at the goth club, and I was like, yes, these are my people. So um, obviously, I still like to get a little extra. This is a uh, gothic top made for me by my friend Carly. I featured this in my Chilling Adventures of Sabrina gothic lookbook. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link over here, and you can go check it out. But yeah. Um, and I guess I something I do want to say, and I think this is probably going to be really, really unpopular, is that to me, if somebody says they're goth, I just go, okay, you're goth. I believe them. I, I don't sit there and act like, you know, there's some elder goth cabal. And I'm like, no, you can't be goth because you're wearing pink or some other color. 
You don't have to wear all black to be goth. You don't have to be white to be goth. There are a million and one things that you, you know, like all of these stereotypes about being goth that people have that people think, and you just, you don't have to worry about it. If you want to just dress in a t-shirt and jeans and be goth, rock on, man. But I really, oh. Goth on. Goth on. <laughs> That's even better. Goth on. But yeah, I really hate the people who are like, oh, if you don't do goth just like me, you're not goth. But, you know, that's kind of true for every subculture. I'm, I feel like that about poly, too, because there's a million different ways to do polyamory. And there are some people out there that are like, no, my way is the one true way to do poly. It's the only right way. And I'm like, no, that's not for me. Go on with yourself. All right, well, now you know my story and how I became goth. It's all because of Ray. If you're interested, in, if you're into the goth scene, let me know in the comments how you became goth. If you're looking for more on how to become goth or about gothic shopping or about gothic music, go ahead and check over here. I'll have a video up here to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.